Hi guys, it's Lucy and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing something that's so highly requested and the question I get asked the most. It's basically I'm going to talk about what textbooks you need or what kind of I recommend to start paramedic science. Now I'm just going to start off by saying that obviously these books I'm talking about you don't definitely need to get, they're just what I found useful throughout my first 18 months of this degree. So yeah um one thing i will mention anatomy and physiology textbooks it's difficult for me to recommend one because we're all different and we all learn very different especially when it comes to anatomy and physiology so i've tried to keep it away from that um kind of textbook because what i recommend might not be helpful to anyone else <laughs> So most of the textbooks I've talked about before but I thought I'd just put them all in one video. So the first book is the ECG workbook. This is brilliant, it's nice and thin, it fits in your bag and it's just great. It talks through things, you can annotate it. Um, it's just a very straightforward book. So if I just show you the contents page, hopefully you can see that and you can just pause and just see what's in it um, rather than me just reading through it. But yeah. Um, this is brilliant. I believe you can get it on Amazon, you can probably get it other places, but um, I got it bought for me for my birthday so I'm not actually sure where it's from. Uh, but yeah, it is very good. The next one kind of links to anatomy and physiology, but this textbook alone wouldn't um, mean you'd pass an exam from it. Um, it's not really even a textbook as such, but it is the Concise uh, Human Body Book. Um, my friend Rhea recommended it to me and it's just very visual, um, you know, it's got loads of pictures and I learn best from pictures. I can't stand books that just text after text after text and then maybe might chuck one picture in in between all of that. Um, this was £4 from the works, I, it's, I don't think it's at the works at the moment, I have looked online and I can't see it, but it is um, on Amazon um, and loads of other places. Um, it's RRP is 9.99, so for £10 I'd say it's still pretty good for this, but if you can get it a bit cheaper. Um, I got this actually second hand, I didn't get it from the works. Um, I got it second hand off eBay for about two quid, so there are plenty of them around. Following on from that book, it's a DK book, um, is this one. We're just going to ignore the post-it note because that's just my studying. Um, it is the Concise Guide to Medicines and Drugs. <laughs> I read that right, yeah. Uh, this is £3 on Amazon at the moment, it's currently out of stock, I have looked. Um, you can get this in the works though, online it is £3. Um, it's just absolutely brilliant, it basically, here's the contents page again. If you want to pause it you can, but basically it talks about major drug groups, but then it also goes through drugs A to Z. And for someone like me, I really struggle with drugs and remembering them and learning what they're for. So this is brilliant. The one thing I wish was they, if they did like a tiny little pocketbook version of this so I could take it on shift with me, but they don't. So I'm kind of making up my own at the moment so I can take it back on shift when I'm back out. Next book is Assessment Skills for Paramedics. In my first year, I borrowed my mentors for the year um, and then I finally got around to buying it. The problem with textbooks is they're so expensive. This was... £23, which I suppose isn't necessarily extortionate for a textbook um, for university, but it's still on the pricey side, isn't it? Um, but I finally bought it for myself, pushed myself to buy it because I do need it, and it is great. Um, it kind of goes through every single assessment, so abdominal, cardiovascular, respiratory. Um, yeah, well, let's show you the contents page again. Oh, two contents pages, if you can see that. Um, yeah, and it's, still, it's also got children, older person and obstetrics in it, which is great. And there's also mental health. Um, obviously, mental health is something most people struggle with. I definitely struggle with it. So, yeah, this is brilliant. Um, I think you can get it secondhand, but I think secondhand, especially on Amazon, is about a pound cheaper. So I've just spent the extra pound to get it brand new, really. Finally, I want to talk about the JR Calc. And it's, it's kind of a known thing you need a JR Calc of some sort some people get the app and some people get the book i've got the book simply because 
I don't really want to be getting my phone out in front of patients and I mean as long as you're explaining what you're doing it doesn't matter it's not a bad thing if you do that um, it's just not something I like to do and I just find it easier to get a contents page up on here and go through it that way um, differences from the 20, 2017 one or 2016 one the one before this is it's actually got a maternity in it um, I, I don't think it had that in the old one I haven't got the old one with me it's at uni so I can't compare but um, so yeah you do definitely have to get the next one up um, every time a version comes out whereas the app it's a one off you buy it you pay monthly and you always got the updated version so there is that difference but um, yeah I do have the pocketbook and I do recommend it but obviously it's bulky in your pocket and your phone isn't. Those are just a couple of textbooks I've found useful. Of course you need to find your own that work for you so I do recommend going to your uni library and looking through books first or on your online library or finding um, uh, what they're called previews of the textbooks online because um, textbooks are expensive don't go buying a textbook if you're not 100% sure it's going to be helpful to you. But yeah, that's just a quick overview of them. If you do have any more questions about the textbooks, please do leave them below and I'll try my best to help you with that. And I will see you in a video very, very soon. Bye guys.